Just give me that countryside. New York is where I'd rather stay. I got allergic smelling hay. I just adore a penthouse view. Darling, I love you, but give me Park Avenue. Seems time has just been rolling on. Made a lot of friends who come and gone. Some things change as years go by. On other things, you know you can rely. I never thought you'd hear me say, milking cows is how I start today. We're happy with this life we found. Who needs a city? I've got some solid ground. Monroe, Alf Monroe, M. Dawson, Sam Drucker, Mr. Haney. We'll take the country. It's fresh and clear. Green acres, we live here. Has all this alfalfa grown from those seeds I sold you at that low discount price? Look at how they've rooted. I'm the happiest man in town. Well, I've always prided myself as being the farmer's best friend. Boy. That's why I hate to see you lose this crop. How could I lose it? Malnutrition. Malnutrition. Now, don't you worry about that, Mr. Haney. I'm giving these plants the best care money can buy. You are as dedicated as they come, Mr. Douglas. That's why I know you'd like to get my special organic growth stimulator. It's just come on the market. What's so special? I import it from East Germany. Oh. Now that the wall's down, I'm doing business over there. It's called Gorby Grow. Gorby Grow? <laughs> I'll put you down for a hundred bags. I tell you what I'll do. I'll take one bag, just experiment with. Why don't we round it off at an even number? Say, 23 bags. Uh, 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 uh. An even number would be 20 bags. Sold! <laughs> Alf! Uh, what do you think? Looks good to me. I don't understand, Ralph, why the Douglas is putting the bathtub outside. It's a hot tub, Alf. A bunch of people get in there, naked. Bunch of people? Grown-ups? Naked? Well, what if someone sees you? Well, then they get in there, too. Party time. <laughs> Boy, and I always thought two lines of the kissing booth was about as far as you could go. <laughs> Lisa? Lisa? Li What the? Hi, Mr. Douglas. It's a hot tub. See, the way it works is a bunch of naked people get in. I, I know it's a hot tub. What's it doing out in front? That's what the plan's called for, Mr. Douglas. Look. Oh. 
You okay, Alf? Just slide this sucker around to the back of the house. Morning, Mr. Kimball. Beautiful day, isn't it? Well, not beautiful. Uh, more like fair. Well, not really fair. Well, it isn't unfair either. Uh, Something in between fair and beautiful. Sort of uh, fearful. Uh, Mr. Kimball, aren't you here to inspect my tub? Tub? Oh, yeah. If you have a permit. Do you think that Rome was built without permits? Do you think a Tower of London went up without a permit? Mr. Kimball. Do you think that Yankee Stadium? Uh, uh, Mr. Kimball! Permit me! Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Well, let's get down to business. What's a tub doing out here? It works this way, Mr. Kimball. Couple of naked people get in. Well, OK, Mr. Douglas. If that's the way you city folks want to live, but I'll tell you right now, the rest of the bathroom stays in the house. Of course it will, yes. Well, then let's uh, turn it on, see if it works. <laughs> This mud. For the life of me, Ralph, I don't know how you two stay in business. Same as you, Mr. Douglas, your hard work and perseverance. For... Lisa! Lisa! Be right there, Johnny. Oh, hey, guess what? My alfalfa's in full bloom. Bottom 40 is a sea of green as far as the eyes can see. Alfalfa! That's wonderful news. But what are we going to do with all that falafala? Oh, alfalfa. It's fodder for the animals. Oh, darling, I'm so proud of you. And maybe, maybe next year you can grow the mother. Uh, no, fodder is what animals eat. You mean to say they eat their own fodder? But that's terrible. That's... That's like capitalism. No, you mean cannibalism. You've seen them? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. You, you mean to say they do it in secret? Well, that's terrible. Oh, for... Well, I will have to discuss it with the animals tonight. But right now, I'm on my way to my very first art show. Come on, Oliver, show me. Which one do you like the best? Well... Uh, that's, uh, hard to decide. <laughs> kind of, they're all so unique. You uh -oh. oh, see, I like that one of Paris. But they're all of New York. Even oh. Eleanor and Probably know that they are all of New York. You see, look, look, here is the Empire State Building. Yeah, the Empire State Building. Yeah. I, I, I've never seen New York uh, pictured exactly this way. It's, uh... Oh, Oliver. You have such a good eye. Yes, yes. And <laughs> such a cute nose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see those fields of gold and green, those charming little farmhouses? Well, we're going to wipe them right off the map. Why, well, these lands weren't meant to produce bushels of grain. They were meant to produce bushels of money. Mini malls, tract homes. Fast food restaurants? Yeah. A city of the future, life in the fast lane. Good luck, Lisa. Oh, thank I, you. I hope you don't bring a single one of these home. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, darling. Uh... Afternoon, Mr. Douglas. Oh, Daisy. More vegetables. I brought more vegetables for you. Oh, 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 we haven't finished that radish you brought us last month. <laughs> well, I brought you some carrots to go with it. I dug them up early so they wouldn't get too big. Daisy, your vegetables are extraordinary. How do you do it? Well, I'm a ziffle. Farm is in my blood. Your Aunt Doris and Uncle Fred would be very proud of you. Well, you know, they left me the farm. It's up to me to make it work. Uh, Daisy, 
Have you ever thought of spending less time in the field and more time playing the field? <laughs> in Hooterville? Yeah. Oh, it can't be done. Why? All the men here are either too old, too young, or too married. Oh, it can't be as bad as all that. Oh, no. I was so starved for companionship last night, I took Arnold to the Hooterville High basketball game. Arnold likes basketball? <laughs> Arnold! Hey! He loves it. Kept me up all night practicing a slam dunk. <laughs> everybody <laughs> excuse me mr. Drucker did anybody call about my art show the Marbibi called a little while ago he wants to know when it's over so he can schedule a checker game over there Excuse me, sir, can you give Franklin, me directions, Franklin, please? Franklin, look. They're the most beautiful things I've ever seen. You see, Mr. Drucker, and I didn't even have to cut off my ear. Excuse me, which ones do you like the best? Why, these, here behind those awful paintings. <gasps> Aren't they simply gorgeous? Franklin, I'm going to browse. Paint a hurricane lamp is it's very easy. It's just a wick in a vase. Well, oh. I guess that's about it for the art show, huh, Mrs. Douglas? Yes, I guess it is. <laughs>